<laughs> Let's start my presentation. Thank you so much for uh, introducing me. Uh, my name is Toshika Seto from uh, Komaza University of Japan. And also, uh, I'm a member of the OSGO, a uh, charter member, right? So, uh, because uh, in this presentation, I will focus on a uh, case study related to Japanese nationwide project being undertaken by the Japanese government uh, leading projects. So, this end of... Oh, Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this endeavor uh, aimed to uh, develop and open 3D urban model and usage uh, many aspects uh, urban planning in over uh, 100 cities. So, uh, thank you. Accept our paper. Uh, we pleasure to announce publish ISPRS uh, archive paper. So, uh, you can if you can uh, the read uh, our papers. So uh, please contact to the uh, QR code, right? So uh, anyway, uh, this out outline in this presentation. Uh, first, I will uh, provide short introduction of the, uh, this project. Uh, second, uh, I will uh, discuss the type of data uh, being collected, as well as the status of this initiative. So third, I'll compare the uh, project um, collecting data, 3D city data with uh, our Tokyo's OpenStreetMap data in uh, central Tokyo. Uh, fourth, uh, of course, uh, this project very uh, strong, connected with the phosphorus technologies. So, uh, first, I will talk about the uh, tool development uh, using the phosphorus. So, uh, the finally, uh, I will uh, talk about the uh, trend use case project with the uh, Plato data project. So, anyway, uh, if you uh, interest uh, my talk, so uh, our my uh, co-authors, uh, so Mr. Uchiyama and Mr. Furuhashi, also will give presentation in general track following this session. And also, uh, we are the uh, first time Japanese government agency to have the exhibition booth in uh, Fosoji. Please contact us uh, our booth. So anyway, uh, to move on the background of purpose, uh, this study uh, focus on the uh, digital technology and advanced data utilization for cluster to addressing uh, urban complexity and serving citizens. As a smart city uh, perspective globally, uh, there is an increasing uh, need, oh, sorry, need, need to uh, the developed develop the uh, 3D city models uh, growing needs in the era of smart city and key to archiving seamless visualization of the city of data. So uh, our study focused on the uh, not only quantitative uh, study, but also the use case and the usage and the, uh, develop the user interface on the qualitative study analysis. Also, uh, we can uh, try to uh, this uh, project. So, uh, the back so next is uh, the background of uh, Project Plato. So uh, Project Plato, uh, digital twin initiative implemented in Japan, uh, the all, all over the Japan uh, focus on, and aimed to the overhauling the urban planning processes in version of the urban uh, planning. So uh, second is uh, uh, digital transformation. So uh, in Japanese case, so very old <laughs> custom oh, and the uh, urban planning methods. So uh, we try to the uh, transformation in digital and also uh, some 3D city model development. The core component of Project Plato uh, provides uh, 3D city models uh, in larger uh, right of the, uh, Japan. So also uh, data coverage expansion and open sourcing. So um, of course, Plato uh, provides 3D city models and totally open data. Uh, if you interest to my our project, so you can use anywhere and any times you in use the in uh, Japanese uh, several cities uh, 3D city models. 
So, um, the, so anyway, uh, 3D city models development and the coverage in Plato. So uh, we uh, choose the uh, format of 3D city models. So anyway, uh, you know, uh, city GML format is uh, city 3D city models are being uh, used across for uh, 40 countries. Uh, I know. So. Data is typically visualized in uh, the desktop JS software and using the combat like uh, maybe proprietary uh, FME and maybe also open source uh, city GML converting tools as uh, city GML function as an um, uh, intermediate uh, format. So now uh, we try to develop uh, combat tool for Q QGIS plugin uh, in um, the, in this may, maybe uh, this year uh, we we are uh, we will uh, plan to the uh, publish the open source in uh, QGIS plugin. So uh, Proto is uh, unique to, uh, to, to, to so uh, the overview of Plato uh, building data uh, coverage in Japanese city. The first one, uh, the you know the uh, city GML is the have the level of detail data. So uh, level of detail one, uh, the so-called uh, LOD one. LOD one is uh, uh, just just here. Uh, LOD one uh, building data in Project Plato uh, mostly created using the survey data from the about three years ago. Uh, covers uh, over uh, 150 cities over uh, about. Uh, maybe over 10% of Japanese total cities, representing uh, about 40% of Japanese uh, total population. So the city with the uh, most extensive uh, LOD1 data coverage is uh, central Tokyo, with large cities or over uh, 5,100 uh, inhabitants uh, covering about half of the data, so pretty limited in uh, urban uh, planning areas. So uh, this coverage represented about 55% uh, of total area. So uh, anyway, uh, a comparison with OpenStreetMap data uh, shows uh, that uh, Plato's project cities uh, covered by uh, Project Plato have more detailed uh, building data. So not only uh, shape of building data, but also the some uh, variety of the attribute, uh, for example, uh, floor level and some the structure and also the uh, responsible to uh, disaster uh, prevention, right? So the number of the uh, buildings uh, represented in the OpenStreetMap data within the uh, project covers cities uh, about 31% uh, of the total number of buildings maintained to, uh, in LOD1. So anyway, uh, we moved to the uh, comparison of coverage in the OpenStreetMap shows the number of Plato data uh, over. So the, this uh, scatter plot uh, demonstrated the city development uh, structures uh, liberal the correlation between uh, population size and also the number of the LOD1 uh, building objects. The uh, large cities, uh, maybe uh, you know, the, like the, uh, Yokohama, Yokohama nearby the Tokyo area, and also uh, you know the Osaka and Nagoya, uh, we also uh, the large cities in they corrected with the LOD1 uh, building objects. The large so increasingly, uh, the cities with uh, partial coverage, with uh, such as uh, Sapporo and Kyoto and also the Sendai, are also uh, present uh, considerable uh, building numbers. So. Uh, 
to let's move on the uh, comparisons of uh, Plato and uh, OpenStreetMap building in Tokyo. So uh, compare the uh, spatial distribution trends of uh, building data from LOD1, uh, Plato, uh, versus uh, OpenStreetMap data. The uh, number of uh, buildings was uh, counted in the in this figure shows the uh, central Tokyo area. Uh, Tokyo has uh, uh, 23 uh, special unit uh, wards in of the uh, central Tokyo, where uh, coverage of both data is very high, high level. So, uh, however, the, the number of the object for each building data set in the entire area were uh, this uh, maybe. 700,000, uh, over 700,000 objects for OpenStreetMap, but uh, Plato data is very huge uh, data. Uh, so, uh, because uh, uh, one, over the 100 uh, objects uh, building data in uh, Plato 3D city models. So, if the number of the uh, objects in Plato, it's considered the total. The total number of the building in OpenStreetMap is maybe about the four, uh, so forty percent. So maybe uh, we uh, we can show the. Uh, so first one is the uh, OpenStreetMap building data, and also you can access the uh, Plato uh, data browser. You can show the uh, very uh, details uh, through the city models, right? So uh, comparison of uh, uh, Plato and uh, OpenStreetMap building in Tokyo. So. Um, comp Compare uh, micro uh, levels, uh, special units. The number of units is each building data was uh, calculated for each the uh, maybe 3,000 in city blocks. And the percentage of OpenStreetMap data with Plato data, the population was calculated. So uh, the result is a very uh, complex. <laughs> so uh, please, uh, if you if you interest uh, this uh, research result, so please read our papers, right? So anyway, and and so also comprised on the uh, Plato and OpenStreetMap building, so coverage in East Tokyo area. So maybe uh, OpenStreetMap totally uh, wider coverage in Tokyo. However, uh, in in this area only blue one, blue buildings uh, is uh, OpenStreetMap data, and also uh, Plato data is widely uh, coverage uh, in totally uh, Tokyo uh, East metropolitan area, right? So anyway, uh, next step, uh, we are development not only 3D city models, but also the uh, viewer uh, provide in Plato project by uh, Phospho Z. So uh, we developed the uh, Plato view version now uh, 2.0 uh, released, a web application uh, that uh, enable visualization of various uh, Plato related data sets. The uh, viewer architectures, uh, as you know, uh, this morning uh, keynote session uh, in UK, Eukarya uh, team presented by the Lee Earth uh, project is uh, based on the uh, Cesium uh, JS, uh, supported 3D tiles and CZML uh, animations natively and includes the web assembly plugins, the functional extensions. So uh, this part of view also, uh, of course, open source projects are available from GitHub and as an Apache 2.0 license. It works in two systems, CMS and editor, also the others, uh, view, viewer. So uh, this is the architecture of the CMS uh, system. So uh, CMS need to the upload local government uh, creating the uh, 3D city models and also published the uh, 
published formally, uh, Plato Viewer, right? So uh, this is uh, uh, integrated to RIAS uh, CMS systems. So uh, firstly, local government and surveyors uh, data registration, uh, RIAS CMS, and also uh, review or checking the uh, the quality of uh, 3D city models uh, by, uh, for example, uh, government uh, officers. And also, the check is okay to uh, publish the viewer, uh, editor, and also uh, browsing the user uh, interface, right? So, and also, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, also, uh, not only uh, viewing um, this uh, data, but also as uh, transforms, uh, uh, for example, Unity SDKs and also uh, 3D tiles uh, published uh, th these projects, right? So uh, this is interface. Sorry, only uh, Japanese to <laughs> show uh, these interfaces. So uh, the very yeah, useful, useful and uh, easy to uh, use uh, this uh, very huge uh, range of the uh, 3D city models in Tokyo, right? So anyway, uh, about five minutes. So uh, the next one is a uh, use case uh, study of the uh, these 3D city models in uh, Japanese project. So, for example, uh, in Japan, uh, very disaster uh, occurs, and the urban simulation is very, uh, very promote in uh, in ja Japanese situations. So, uh, we are now uh, try to uh, use the uh, faster the simulations and also uh, disaster perspectives, we are need to the evacuation route and also reconstruction uh, perspective. So uh, this key topics of focus, uh, including, uh, for example, traffic uh, simulation for evacuation and planning for the destruction phase. And also, uh, this 3D city model is very complex complexity. So uh, we are uh, now use uh, not only visualize, but also the spatial analysis uh, using, uh, for example, uh, QGIS and also uh, some desktop GIS, right? So anyway, the uh, next challenge, uh, we are uh, try to the participatory uh, city management using the XR technologies. So you know uh, some so Google and also the AR application, right? So uh, used to the engage a citizen uh, in the urban planning using detailed 3D city models. So uh, last year, uh, we are other members uh, tried to the workshop with uh, ordinary citizens in uh, Japanese city, uh, utilized uh, VR glasses and also AR application to discuss future concepts uh, based on the field work data. So uh, also, uh, Plato View uh, can use the uh, engagement uh, participatory uh, citizens studies. So, oh, sorry. Oh, the uh, Plato View uh, 2.0 uh, platform uh, where uh, results, these citizens' engagement activity are shared. So th this is an uh, example of the uh, so participatory citizens, right? So anyway, uh, end of the, uh, this presentation, uh, findings and the future works, right? So firstly, uh, we, are, we focus on the uh, not only provide 3D city models, but also the usage of this, this data and the tackle of the uh, city issues. So uh, we concept with the uh, digital commons of, uh, for the city models. So center uh, Plato's missions creating uh, uh, universally accessible and standardized uh, environment, right? So uh, we need to more uh, promote uh, local government for uh, nationwide uh, in Japan. 
So uh, secondly, secondly uh, we are also focused on the user-centric, right? So because uh, uh, 3D city models so maybe difficult to use in normal uh, GIS software, but uh, uh, we are developed and released the web browser-based uh, use uh, Plato data. So essential for uh, branded uh, project appeal, the use user space, uh, requiring uh, further improvement in uh, usability and data accessibility. So uh, last one is a continuous uh, updating uh, nationwide coverage. So key challenge for the project feature is the need for the in centralized uh, local government, maybe uh, five years cycle update uh, this these uh, 3d city models so local government uh, in incentive to uh, so uh, contracts in the uh, 3d city models for wider data coverage and ongoing updates so uh, anyway so end of the uh, this presentation uh, we would like oh sorry uh, we would like to the suggest uh, your opinion or your city situation in 3d city models usage so uh, Japanese project uh, has been uh, now started uh, by uh, your country's situation is uh, our uh, our knowledge is very important things thank you so much